welcome to the show. My name is Alex, guys, and this is Tech Flow. Today we've got a different location, more on that in a little while, and a really unique product right here, which I'm actually really excited to show you guys. So this is the Soundbox HD right here, and it's an all-in-one soundbar, right? But it's also a TV box, as you can see on the front. And you're probably thinking, Alex, what's a TV box? Well, we'll get into that in a little while. This thing can be controlled by Alexa, and if I show you guys this side of the box, you'll also see a load of streaming services. So as you can see here, you get one year of Amazon Prime included, so you can stream to your heart's content. That is obviously streaming music and video, which this thing can obviously play back with it being a soundbar connected to your TV. You also get loads of streaming services like Radioline and Deezer, as you can see on the box down here. And it also has a free view receiver built in as to which you can pause up to an hour of live TV. We've got Ethernet here but this thing also has dual band Wi-Fi to get it connected to the internet to take use of all those streaming services. We've got a USB port here and then we've also got our HDMI connection up to the TV and here we have our aerial port and as you can see this thing isn't massive compared to a lot of other soundbars yet it has so much more packed inside this thing than most of the soundbars do. As I've already told you guys, we've got the Freeview Tuner and all of the smart features which we will go over in the second. So included here is the quick start guide for the remote controller and the unit itself, followed up by the actual remote controller which is a very nice build quality. And then we've got here the power supply which is actually taking 240 volts, we've got a transformer down sampling this right now which is really really cool low power consumption and then in here generously provided is an HDMI cable nice if you didn't already have one as well as actually an Ethernet cable and the antenna cable just in case you don't have these lying around great for them to actually include this shows they're actually uh, shows they're actually thinking about the end user which is uh, super 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 nice even included is the batteries for the remote controller which is just a nice touch it's literally everything you need to get this thing up and running. And there we go, all working. We're actually at my grandma's house right now because I thought this little unit would look absolutely lovely here with this minimalist setup with this telly on the wall. But as you can see, she's got a speaker system already here. And then actually underneath here, she's got a free view unit box, which is picking up her terrestrial TV for her from her aerial. So essentially this box is replacing both of these items. So it's it's got a sound bar, it's got speakers in it, so we don't need this. With this this can now this can now go and get disconnected, and so can the old Freeview receiver box, because this has got everything built in and more, obviously with all the streaming services. So guys, there we go. As you can see, I've just turned the TV on. I've given this thing power, I've given it an Ethernet connection, but it's obviously, as I've said, got dual band, thanks TV. Also got dual band Wi-Fi, then I've given it the HDMI from the wall, which goes up to the TV and the aerial, and that is it. Away with our old speaker system. And then what we can do, guys, is push this unit back, and everything should look fairly neat. There we go. So guys, because this product is so new, the only place you can buy it right now is actually Amazon. So I'll put a link down there in the description to that if you guys want to check out pricing and availability. But for now, I want to demonstrate the features. And the first one of this is the sound quality. This is primarily a sound bar. We've got dual tweeters and dual subwoofers in here. And to do that, I'm going to actually connect my phone via Bluetooth. And it does have auxiliary in as well. And we will uh, test out some audio streaming to the sound bar. So what we're going to do is hold the blue button down and as you can see, audio audio source, we've got auxiliary, TV, and Bluetooth. I'm gonna click Bluetooth right now, and then we've got a blue flashing light to indicate we're searching for Bluetooth devices, and I'll just connect my phone to that right now. It's actually quite good, isn't it? That's just genuinely quite good for the time, man. Let's try another one, let's try another one. Try, try, some, try something with a little bit of a voice in it. You got problems in the streets again, drowning in the violence. It's getting pretty tense. It's loud. Anger in the faces I see. It's loud. Communal emptiness. Okay, so I'm going to put a stop to that before we get those copyright strikes on the videos. But the sound quality from this thing is very, very good for the size. Actually, exceptional for the size. Wasn't, wasn't expecting that from that thing at all. Fills this massive space easily. Carrying on the talk of sound quality, if we quickly want to switch back to listening to the live TV, all we have to do is click the blue button again, and then we can go back up to TV. I mean, this robot keeps us plugged on from now on. 
No, no. <laughs> so as you can see right now, on the main screen, we've got BBC One playing and all of our little tiles and widgets around. I'll get into that in just a second. But seeing as we've been talking about sound quality, there's actually different sound modes depending on where you put this thing. So if you hold the blue button down where you've selected to hear the TV sound, as you can see, there's audio presets. So we've got clear voice on right now. You can switch it over from clear voice to TV standard, lounge, bass boost, and then my actual favourite, you've got dynamic, but my favourite is clear voice. Makes the voices really clear for if you're actually sat here watching TV and wanting to hear the voices of what people are saying. So right now, Bargain Hunt's on, should be able to hear what the people are saying nice and crisp and clear. Yes. Come on. And the blues are in for a shock. So now from the sound quality, I want to go straight over to my other favourite feature, the fact that it can be controlled by the dreaded A word. Quick warning, all of you turn off your, uh, your smart assistants right now, you know that one that's beginning with A, because in about three seconds I'm about to say one of the phrases which will activate this sound box. You ready? Three, two, one. Alexa, ask sound box to go to BBC One. Here we go. Something else. No, thank you. So as you can see how responsive that was, you can simply ask your Alexa to go to any program you want. So you can actually do away with the remote control and just use your voice assistant if you have one in the same room and ask the sound box to go to whatever channel you may please, which is really, really cool. And NetGem have actually told me that they're adding more commands in the future, rolling them out over software updates. So that is a really exciting feature of this unit. And as I've actually been reviewing this, I've been thinking how good this would possibly be for maybe a student. So you've got your terrestrial TV, but then you can also stream content to it via Bluetooth, so it's like a sound bar. And then you've also got all your on-demand content, which we will go over now after I've told you guys that it's got terrestrial TV. If you just go to the live now function, as you can see, it's just gonna show me all the TV channels here in the UK. You know, you've got channel four, channel five with the free view tuner. And as soon as I click on any of these, it should load it straight up. So let's just go, we've got daily politics on BBC two. You should click that and then it's gonna load it, load it straight up. And also you can pause up to, a, up to an hour of live TV with the pause button. So you want to go to the toilet or something, or just go and make some food. You want to pause your live program. Just click the pause button, and it pauses it. <laughs> they call that feature time shift, which I think is uh, really, really cool. Being able to pause and rewind and fast forward live TV for up to an hour. And on top of all of that, NetGem are adding Freeview Play content with full access to catch up and live channels from BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub, All4, Demand5, and UK TV. So one thing that really, really annoys me with modern set-top boxes that come out like in the last sort of two years, the UI of them is like really, 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 really slow. But that's one thing where I really like this NetGen box. As you can see, the highlighted, well, the highlighted sort of tile that I'm on as, I, as I'm going round the actual UI via the tiles, it's super, super smooth. Even navigating between the different avenues are just, it's just buttery smooth. It's like a really, really nice experience to navigate the UI on this thing. So at the top, as you can see, we've got all these different, what they call avenues, which is quite cool. So we've got the Kids Avenue right here, which has a load of things like kids streaming services. Well, if you go across to the Music Avenue right now, you've got things like Deezer, like we discussed what was on the box earlier, Form Music. You've even got Radio Line, and then you can even stream the radio, the actual normal radio. Let's give that a go now. Let's stream Radio 1. And it's straight on. Sounds so good! Okay, let's just try and stream, let's just try and stream box hits from the internet. Actually instant as well, see what I mean? This is why I like this thing. It's just so easy to, like, it's really good. Take my word for it, it's really, really good. So moving back over from the music avenue, then we have the home avenue, bang in the center, we've got what's currently playing right now, and then a load of these nice tiles around the edge, which are actually live TV, which we can go ahead and tune straight in and watch. But this is where things get interesting. We go over to the other avenue over here, which is the prime video page. And over here, you've got access, one click streaming to thousands of hours of on-demand content. So you can literally stream, you've got obviously the Grand Tour around here, which is what uh, Prime Video are pushing at the moment. You've got Unreal Seasons 1 to 3. Anything that Prime Video has is on here. And it even works with Alexa too, so you can say something like, Alexa, ask Soundbox to play the Grand Tour. Okay, getting the Grand Tour on Amazon Video. It's just 
all there in the one package, which is why I think this thing is really, really cool and really niche and really different. There's nothing else really like this on the market, which is why I've really wanted to bring this, guys, to you today. So that is that, there's your Prime video. But if we go over to the Watch Now page, then we've got a few other apps in here. If we click on the More Apps thing, this will give us access to all of the other apps that we've got. So here you go, you go straight to the Prime Video app. And then you've got all of these other apps like Daily Motion and Deezer that you can go straight into and go ahead and use to their full potential up on your big screen on the wall. Hook this thing up to a computer monitor, and then you've got your sound coming out of this, nice crystal clear sound. And then you get your Prime Video streaming, and your terrestrial TV with live pause, right? I don't know what else to say, it sells itself. This thing is really, really cool, and I'm super privileged to have an early look at it on TechFlow. So I want to thank MechGem for sending this box out because it's really, really cool. You can pick it up on Amazon, guys. We'll put the links in the description. But for now, that's it. And I say that's it, there's been a lot. But my name's been Alex, and this has been TechFlow. And we'll catch you in the next one.